Hello everyone, I'm Gavin Watson, photographer extraordinaire, and here I am in Kingston. Oh, being a photographer, it means various things in various uh, times of my life or, or depending on how I'm feeling about myself. I don't really have a defining, I don't have a defining view on what photography is because it changes and it has changed over the period of time that I've been involved in photography, which has basically been since I've been 14. Well, I was a very shy child and I didn't really have any friends. And my elder brother was very popular and he took photographs of all his friends and everyone loved him and uh, I had some Christmas money for Christmas and I went down to Woolworth. It's a famous old shop in England and there was for sale a pair of binoculars and a little camera. I thought I'll get the binoculars and look at the moon because I was a weird kid. I was... And then something just said to me, get the camera. So I got the camera. And when I got my first film processed, it came back and I opened the package because it was 1979, 1978, and you used to send your pictures away to be processed. And when I got them back, they were mainly of my cat, but they were so sharp compared with everyone else's photographs that I knew, um, that something happened to me there and then in that moment that I was going, I'm going to be a photographer. So I took my camera, Took loads of pictures, didn't like it, but I used to get them for free. I hated taking my camera, I just wanted to get off my head. Didn't like the pictures because it was so tough to take the pictures in there. So I looked at them and thought, these are rubbish. Didn't look at them for 20 years. And then I went, actually, they're not rubbish. It's like what it was. But as it turned out, there was actually very, 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 very few photographs of this revolution. And I happened to be one of the only guys that took the skinhead thing so deeply. And it turned out I'd done this all by accident. First book, Skins, um, was published in 1994. It was just a small book published by a small company in Scotland that were just meant for the skinheads that were still left around Europe. Just my photographs of growing up. And um, I didn't realise anyone would be interested and Vice magazine kept trying to contact me because they found out that I was still alive. <laughs> and as it turned out that my, my book Skins was an influence for the style of Vice magazine, so I was a big hero of theirs. And they really wanted me to work for them because when they started Vice magazine, they had my, my book Skins was part of the, the look. They, they said, I want to start a magazine with, with this look, this all-inclusive, Instead of looking from the outside in, you're looking from the inside inside. So eventually I'd done some work for Vice and the floodgates opened. Believable, just a tsunami of recognition, like a renaissance for me. And uh, that's been 10 years and then um, at 41 I became a fashion photographer. I started to get big campaigns because people realised that the book was such a big influence and um, that I was still young enough and uh, still alive to actually be the person that they came to instead of going can we get photographs like Gavin Watson we might as well get Gavin Watson so that was wonderful and it's all led up to being here which is part of that whole journey the whole journey of following your passion